Good morning, everyone. This is Prem's crypto market update for October 8, 2018. Welcome, everyone. Um, Bitcoin is still going sideways at the 6600 level. It's now doing 6588. And if we look at the top 10, um, everything is basically um, around the 1 or 2 percent. We can see here Cardano up 3 percent, now doing 8.5 cents. And uh, Ripple is up 2%, now doing 48 cents. All right, if you look at the market cap, again, same like yesterday, 218 billion. But the volume, again, has slowed down. We can see here a volume of 10 billion, where we usually have a volume of 14 billion. BTC dominance still at 52%, so that is looking good. Now, if you look at the um, coins which have done very well in the last 24 hours, we can see 0x up 13%, NOAA coin up 12%, Tron up 12%, and Cyber Miles up 11%. The coins which have not done that well are DGX DAO, Redcoin, and Steam, uh, either down between 6 to 8%. All right, what is the news today? It's all about... Bitfinex. So uh, one article is saying that Bitfinex obtaining uh, a banking partner in HSBC and how long will it last? Uh, as you might know or might not know, um, the Bitfinex got a lawsuit uh, against Wells Fargo because unlawfully uh, they were basically um, keeping their funds stuck in their account. So um, well, that is going on. HSBC is now the new name where Bitfinex, one of the largest U.S.-based uh, crypto, uh, crypto exchanges, is now looking at. So uh, let's see how this is going to last. But uh, as it seems to be, it could be taking a longer time. Next news again, Bitfinex. It's about their insolvency claims. Basically, a lot of people have come out that Bitfinex with their Tether stablecoin is basically uh, insolvent and through a blog post they have denied it basically coming out that um, uh, these rumors are false and that Bitfinex and Tether's potentials of insolvency are uh, not correct um, so the, we're looking at how to see this in the future um, Bitfinex as I said in the earlier one was looking for a new uh, partner in banking and they found it in HSBC C and let's see how this is going to be ahead all right the next news is about side chains are bringing ICOs to Bitcoin and that might change crypto funding so this article is talking about um, uh, ICOs where basically we you know we hear about ethereum and their smart contract protocols but this could be a side chain of bitcoin where basically it would be in fact possible for icos to get backing through this so uh, this article basically talks about it um, how startups uh, are targeting targeting the supply chain management will take advantage of this uh, RSK technology. All right, so then the next news is a opinion. Um, well, right now, basically, we're hearing a lot about STOs, and uh, people are asking all around what are STOs. So, security token offerings are STOs. And uh, this article basically talks about uh, what it makes sense to do. Um, STOs. If your company is generating in excess of 10 million US dollars in revenue, it makes sense to do an STO. If you have a high growth company, it makes sense to make to do an STO. Operating a global business instead of a local business, it makes sense doing an STO. And preferring to issue transferable assets, an STO. In, interested in funding method that contends uh, with customer base. So, you know, uh, desiring greater liquidity for stakeholders. The whole thing is this, that the STO is really going to replace the IPO. And uh, as you know, uh, the ICO doesn't do that because you don't get a stake in the company. You get just a stake in the tokens which is offered. So here you're getting real assets 
and then you know going to an IPO which is very very expensive basically an STO could be a very good uh, option to go for and let's see there are many many articles even Wessel talked to some people who are into the STO space uh, how this is going to evolve all right this was the news for today please like and subscribe look us up on Bitcoin magazine dot nl and we have podcasts as well nowadays check us out our post our latest podcast with cz uh, on uh, our website and i hope to see you on the next one